fellow Caymanians and residents, on Thursday a page in history was turned when the people of Scotland rejected independence and chose to prevent a rupture in their country's 307 year union with England. I congratulate the people of Scotland on both sides of this issue for conducting a rigorous debate and a fair referendum. With an 84.5% turnout at the polls, the vote in Scotland on Thursday proves that the democratic process does work. And while democracy prevailed, the conversation between Scotland and the United Kingdom must continue. The United Kingdom will now be looking to provide the Scottish Parliament and by extension the Scottish people with more devolved powers and authority over their own affairs while maintaining the benefits of being part of a stronger and bigger United Kingdom. Although the vote was narrow, with 45% of the voters saying yes and 55% saying no, I believe the result is positive news not only for Scotland, but for the wider United Kingdom and those of us in the overseas territories. A strong United Kingdom, including Scotland, is better for us in the Cayman Islands and in the other overseas territories than an alternative that may have created more uncertainty in an already uncertain world. Again, I congratulate the people of Scotland and wish them well in their goals to attain a greater degree of autonomy for themselves while maintaining the historic, economic and familiar link with the rest of the United Kingdom.